Hey, I'm Todd Sepulveda of Prepper Website, and this is a five minute prep. Look, everyone who wants to live a more self-reliant life should create an emergency binder. You wanna put copies of important documents into a binder so that you can grab them in case you ever have an emergency. Now, think about this. Let's say you have a flood or there's a fire or a tornado sends your house and debris all over the countryside. You don't want to have to deal with that emergency and also trying to get your most valuable and most important documents from government buildings and agencies again. Imagine waiting in line, having to get copies of social security cards and bank accounts and all of that stuff. You don't want to have to deal with it. So creating an emergency binder is a great way to be more self-reliant, to have all your information in one place. You can keep it in your bug out bag. You can keep it in an area which would be very easy for you to grab in an emergency when you're running out of the house. Now, Amazon sells some really great inserts for keeping your documents inside of your emergency binder. Maybe you, you wanna waterproof them. Maybe there's some items like a, a USB drive that you want to digitize your documents and put them on a USB drive as well so that you can easily make more copies. Um, they have these little inserts that you can put inside of your emergency binder and keep everything nice and tidy. So some uh, examples of uh, the type of things that you want to keep inside of your emergency binder would be uh, like your driver's license or copies of your driver's license, copies of birth certificates, your marriage license, your school records, your medical records, your passports, um, your social security numbers, um, your mortgage documents, insurance documents, everything that you would need in an emergency situation and more, you can easily put inside of a emergency, in an emergency binder. Uh, you can have the most recent pictures of your kids. And uh, if you take um, uh, documentation of, of your home and the contents of your home, you can have a USB drive with that video file or those pictures inside of that emergency binder as well. Now here's the thing, if you're making copies, you're making one copy of all these things, you might as well make two or three copies. So one of these you would keep with you in an emergency situation to take with you. Another one you might want to put inside of a uh, safety deposit box, maybe in your bank. And another one you might want to send packaged up in a package to a relative and just say, hey, put this on top of your, uh, in a closet somewhere. And if you, if I ever need it, then it's there. It's just, you know, documents that I might need. So you can have these kind of uh, spaced out just in case there was ever an emergency that happened and you weren't at home, you would still have these all available. So here's a quick pro tip for you. Um, if you're digitizing your documents, you can use apps on your phone. It makes it really easy. So one app that I have used in the past is called Cam Scanner, and that gives you actually a guide that lets you know if you're level or not, and uh, you, can, you can take pictures there, and again, you digitize them, you can send them to Dropbox, you can send them to your Google Drive, and then you can download them from there. Um, another uh, app that is uh, probably, it's, it's one that you might want to consider is Evernote. Uh, Evernote, um, you don't have to line up the documents. You, it'll find the edges for you and then it will take the picture automatically. So the only thing there is you'll have to hold it up above the document, but it'll find the edges, take the picture, and then it will upload it to Evernote. If you feel comfortable leaving them on Evernote, you can leave them there but I wouldn't, I would download those, keep them on a flash drive, and then delete all those documents from Evernote. And it's just an easy way of keeping a digitized copy of all of these things. The other thing you can do is just use your camera and take pictures of them that way. Um, you could do it that way if you didn't want to uh, send your, your information to an online, uh, you know, on the, in the cloud somewhere. But Making a, an emergency binder is a very important step in being prepared, being more self-reliant. You don't want to have to deal with finding all of these important documents if you ever are in an emergency situation. That's your five minute prep. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you are interested in more preparedness, you can go over to prepperwebsite.com where we link to eight to 12 articles every single day 
of the best preparedness information out there. We also have pages dedicated to alternative news, homesteading, frugal living, DIY, conspiracy theories, prophecy updates, and you name it. We try to keep it uh, really interesting for you over there. And if you're interested in listening to our podcast, you can go over to the Prepper website podcast.com and link to all the different channels that we have available where you can subscribe to our podcast. Thanks for watching and God bless.